hello guys what is going on welcome to another video and this is Dennis and I was just scrolling down my Facebook I believe you know this popular Facebook group and it's called Lagos graphic designers it's popular among Nigerians and Lagos is in Nigeria and I was just scrolling down the group to see uh, people's posts and designs and I came across this design you can see on the screen right now I came across this design and I felt like for God's sake why would someone do something like this and I know most times it's not the person's fault it's lack of idea I don't criticize people's design but I I like giving positive comment that will help the person to grow so i had no choice than to pick up this design and make a video about it to react to this design so other people can learn and this design was posted by the wf do you let me timothy you can see the screenshot on the screen that's the same way the post was and this happens to be the person's first post on Lagos graphic designer. Without any further ado, let's go into the video. Subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video. So I have many observations about this design and the first thing I observe about this design was colors the colors on the design are not in line at all i can see red i can spot orange purple black brown blue and yellow all these colors are too much for this design and it's a combination of cmyk and rgb there is no unity in the colors at all so i felt like it's not the right way to choose a particular color for a design and I'm going to put a link in the description where you can watch videos about color theory and color stuff like that maybe it will help you you can learn from it but for me if I were to be the one designing this I would have stick to blue and orange just those two colors can give me everything I want even if I want to stick to only blue alone I can go with it and my design will still be perfect so the colors on the design do not go at all I have suggest blue or orange to be the best for the design and my next observation was the arrangement of uh, type the use of typeface and all other stuff before then you know there is this rule in graphic design that you should use only two typefaces and maximum of um, three if you should use more typeface it should be three you don't use more than three typeface but here i saw many different types of typeface and most of them capital letters and the other are title case but the arrangement of text on this design is so like happy birthday in advance is almost everywhere and it's as if he's about to share the happy birthday in advance i'm not loving at this design but one happy birthday in advance is okay now before you create a design like this you have to get your focal point if you want to make happy birthday in advance your focal point it means you should pick this happy birthday in advance and and put more creativity on it and make it more beautiful and nice so anyone that sees the design and the eye will capture that happy birthday in advance first put more creativity to the happy birthday in advance but here the design is just scattered all around the happy birthday in advance is scattered all around which is not right and the rules of movement according to design which is you know the eye reads from left to right and top to bottom whenever you start to read you start from the top 
and you don't start from the right to the left you start from the left to the right so in this design i would have suggest arranging the write-ups in such a way that the eye will not be stressed if i should start reading all the type on this design my eye will be stressed i'll be reading up and down turning from left right center but you should start from the left to the right and down the design the eye movement should maintain that order not moving from left to right moving everywhere and the scattered around the design the eye should not be stressed in any design before you end up your design put yourself in your viewers shoe if you were to be the one looking at this design how will you feel like reading through this design will your eye be stressed or not then the next thing i observe is the arrangement of pictures for me i would have choose one picture and and if i should choose a second picture it should be on the background and i i would have transparent it and make it very light that it's very hard to see and i keep a main picture and i make sure i work on that main picture treat the picture make the picture so nice add effects to the picture and make the picture nice and stunning but in this case the pictures are just scattered everywhere as if this is the last birthday the person is celebrating <laughs> i'm sorry to say this but it's very funny one picture is okay all you have to do is to pick that one picture and work on it and make sure it's very nice if i was to be the one if i were to be the one he designed this for i won't lie i won't tell any lie i wouldn't have accepted this it's not nice at all but for him i know maybe for the fact that he's a beginner i wish he's watching this video so he can take his corrections i mean no harm i'm just reacting to this video i won't agree with this design at all so lastly i'm going to give the order of a nice birthday post design or birthday design first start by the happy birthday in advance maybe at the top left or right and note this anytime you are designing you want if you want to align all your elements to the left then your picture should be at the right while every other text should be at the left and the alignment should maintain that order to the end of the design then if you want to centralize your text all the text should be centralized to the end of the design or if you want to align to the right all the designs should be aligned to the right and not scattering text everywhere so i would have suggest happy birthday in advance first then the person's picture somewhere at the corner or center or anywhere you want to place it where you know it will look nice and fit the picture so well and the next thing i suggest is the name of this person the name should be pronounced you know we have to obey the rules of a um, visual hierarchy you start from the most important element to the less important element in your design maybe if you feel happy birthday in advance is the most important element then it should be the biggest element in the design put more effort work on it and put more creativity to it and the next element you want to put is the name of the person celebrating the birthday after that you put the uh, the birthday date put the month and the day for the birthday and then you can put your own courtesy and all this stuff your brand name your name or any other stuff you want to write or birthday quotes on that at this point it looks so mature and simple don't forget the kiss rule keep it simple stupid and not just making everything book and feeling that you are making a nice design making everything look scattered just like this design so do you let me i can't pronounce that name so well but i'm trying my best do you let me timothy if you are watching this video i'll be glad to well if you let me know that you accept these corrections with a good mind so with all humility of heart thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video